Um, I'm Jason Woodside. This is my work. Um, this is a piece that explores just, uh, for, my, for my mind, it's more one-dimensional in regards to color. Um, it's something with a bit more movement and depth, and it's an exploration through um, light and where my mind is at the moment. So um, it's, again, it's just a blueprint for something that would go on a larger mural. So I'm pretty happy about this piece, and I'm, had, I'm super happy to have it in the show. Uh, Ruben Sanchez, um, brilliant artist, amazing with, with color. Uh, had a really good common interest in skateboarding with him and uh, made a really great foundation for just a great friendship. Um, and I've always respected his work and we did a, a couple festivals together and um, just a huge fan of his work in general. And uh, he's, he's really progressed in a way that's um, familiar with his past work and he's really moving in a, in a positive and, and progressive way that's just um, super innovative and, and inspiring to people. So um, it's amazing to have them involved in this show. Have you guys ever festivals together? I mean, like you can, like in, in where at? In you, Europe or? No, so we, we've actually done a festival together in Las Vegas for um, Life is Beautiful, I believe, was it, which is a music festival. And um, yeah, we just hit it off and we were just, uh, you know, friends friends mostly from that and the art I guess comes second and we just you know we just agreed on or we just um, came together on just common interests and he's a lovely guy so. cool Adele? Adele yeah so we'll go to this one over here so Adele Adele and I have, have known each other for a, quite a while so she's uh, she's an amazing artist attention to detail is obviously um, amazing and um, we've uh, we've done a couple festivals together and um, just had like a really great respect for each other in regards to um, just uh, scale and, and attention to detail like I said and um, she's such a talented woman and she's um, she's really headed for great things so also happy to have her in the show she's in LA now too She's, uh, yeah, she's from Europe, but she's, she's in L.A. at the moment, and she's, I don't even think she's there for more than a couple of days, and then she's off um, doing another mural festival or um, doing another commission, so she's a busy one. Swoon, just a, a huge fan of Swoon's work. Uh, I was first introduced to Swoon's work uh, maybe early 2000s, New York City. Um, I'd see it on the Lower East Side, just wheat pasted on random buildings, and um, from then, it's just she's such an icon and um, at the forefront of this this sort of movement um, with uh, with women artists and with just just artists in general. She's um, she's really prolific in her in her own realm. So I'm I'm super flattered she she has a couple pieces in here. So uh, Maser, just an unbelievable human being in regards to uh, just common interests and values, and um, he's really taken me in in regards to just um, I don't know just we just have such a, a nice friendship and we we really bounce ideas off each other and and push each other on a, on a level that's uh, very complimentary so I'm always kind of following him he's following me and it's just um, I feel like our art in general is uh, we just clearly have such a uh, an affinity with with color and uh, color combinations and, and um, he's such a great uh, addition to this show uh, and again I'm just a, a huge fan so Buff Monster uh, just a, a fellow New Yorker his studio is just down the street from a cafe of mine and um, I've always kind of looked up to him in regards to just being progressive in the sense you know he he translates his work from walls to um, to products and and just his reach and uh, his energy is super positive. He's always on the grind and uh, he's always making new work and he's really, really just kind of um, exploring his, his craft and, and, and applying it to something really progressive. And, and some of the work that he's coming up with now is, is, is brilliant, especially with, um, with airbrush and, and different materials. So um, I think just downright, just a lovely guy as well, so. Ricardo also known as It's a Living, um, great human being, uh, such a great energy, 
common interest with skateboarding kind of growing up in that sense. He's in New York at the moment, but also one of the ones that will just travel around. He's always in another country or in another state um, making art and making a beautiful piece for a community. So um, also just a lovely addition to this show. Um, just another great human. So, Adam Lucas. Um, Adam's a, a, just a great guy in general. He's, uh, he's, he's really progressive in the way that um, he, I, I really love the way his mind works and in art and outside of art and, and we really had a great bond with um, just, just careers and, and, and moves in general and um, he was a fellow New Yorker as well and we kind of come from the same sort of neighborhood, Lower East Side, East Village area and um, he's He's, he's moving into this new realm of, of artwork. It's a bit more refined from his past as Hanksy. And uh, I'm really proud of, uh, proud of his work, proud of him, and um, glad to have him in the show. So Alex, which goes by Pref, um, continuously just boggles my mind with the, with the ideas and concepts that he comes up with and um, applies to walls or to with artwork and his attention to detail with a background in, in, in design and that sort of stuff. He's, at this point, he's applying um, his artwork to, to, more, to commercial stuff as well. So um, incredibly inspiring and just a great personality and, and something just at the foundation is just, there's so much chemistry with, with him and I. And um, I think at the, at, the, at the bottom of it, we're just great friends and we push each other. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm super amped just to have him send us a couple pieces for this show, so. D-Face, uh, I'm, I'm not sure where to even start with this one. So he's, he's a bit of a, um, a mentor of mine and he's, he's always kind of um, taken me under his, his wing in regards to, uh, he's always pushing me. He's, he's, he's given me a great platform in, in London to, to show my artwork and um, just, just a lovely guy in, in regards to, you know, just values and, and, and friendship and we always connect uh, whenever he's in New York or um, I'm in London and he's, uh, yeah, he's just, he's a great supporter and, and always inspiring in regards to just pushing, pushing the boundaries on artwork and uh, um, yeah, like what, it's, he's just a, he's like my older brother, so it's great. <laughs> anyway. So all of your artists um, are people that you collaborate with in mural festivals around the world. And when you put them together for this gallery exhibit, did you have their gallery work in mind specifically, or were built off of connections through the, the mural festivals, obviously, but did you choose specific artists that maybe show in galleries more than others? It's funny, the, the artwork for me came secondary, and it's the personalities that came first. I was like, these are the most amazing people that I've met in this industry. Uh -huh. um, with my travels and the mural festivals and all of that stuff, let's get them all under one roof and show their gallery works or something that people can actually look at and, and, and see in person. Um, with their, I mean, in regards to their, their, their gallery works versus their wall works, it's something that, um, uh, Let's see, where can I go with this? Sorry. Um, it is, I think it's just something that's a little bit more um, visible in the sense that just there's, you know, in, in, instead of having the works kind of scattered, scattered throughout the country, it's like we can get it all under one roof and just show it. So um, create, creating awareness that these amazing artists are out there if they don't necessarily have access to uh, to seeing them on, on a wall. So. And all together at the same time. Too, and right? all together at the and, same and time. Have yeah. you seen uh, all of these artists together in an exhibit like this before? That's the thing, yeah. If I was gonna if I was gonna go out and see a show, this is the one that I'd want to see. You'd want to see, yeah, yeah. yeah. And how does the energy feel here now that like all of your basically your heavy homies, I think is you Yeah, know, yeah. They're, interviews, so. they're, no, they're all they're all my friends. It's um and, and <laughs> TJ, turn it down. Oh, <laughs> no, uh because all of your heavy homies are here in one room, like yeah. what is the feeling? Like what's your first, I mean, it, it feels great here. I mean, oh, it's just, it's, it's just the energy. It just, with, with 
each one of these, they're all such strong personality human beings. It's yeah. To put them all under one roof and to, to have a, a product of theirs that they actually really put some time and energy into, it really radiates this energy that's, um, that's quite positive and it's uh, definitely present, present here. Yeah. 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 Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. So this is Buff Monster. There you go. This is Macer. Sweet. This is Swoon. Sweet. It's Living. Also, Ricardo. Adam Lucas. This is Prep. Uh, this is D Face. Ruben Sanchez. This is Adele. <laughs> 